Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Morning Meditations with Josh and Friends. I just want to uh, pause for a moment to reflect on uh, Labor Day. It's Labor Day weekend, it's Monday. Many of us who are blessed enough to have uh, employment are taking the day off and hopefully enjoying a time of just relaxing and being with friends and family and and I think it's important that we look at what Colossians says, you know, about in everything work as if you're working for the Lord and not for people. And we we work a lot in this country. You know, the world is sort of um, always working, working, working. In fact, uh, in other countries like Japan and China, people are literally working themselves to death. Uh, there's reports and things if you look on the news of people who just, you know, sitting on the subway, on the train in the subway, and they just fall asleep and never wake up again. Uh, and then they do the investigation and they find out that, the, that these people are working, you know, 90 hours a week and um, it's, it's just unreal. So maybe the, the thing to consider this morning is just what are you laboring for in your life? And why are you laboring? In this Labor Day weekend, as we pause to reflect on what it is that we're spending so much time and energy in, and the value of it, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the rate of return worth all the life energy that we put into the things that we do? I would hope the answer is yes, and I would hope that you are feeling balanced and healthy in the things that you put your energy into. Uh, I Transparently, I confess that over the last few weeks, I have not been personally feeling healthy and balanced in those things. And when I do my own self-analysis, I realize that it's because um, I've gotten away from some of the the prayer practices and things that help me to stay grounded and stay uh, balanced. And so as I pause this Labor Day weekend and look at the way that I've been spinning my wheels, uh, I'm reminded of uh, healthy practices that, that I need to uh, return to in order to find peace and serenity in the things that I do on a daily basis. So there's a little bit of real for you. But anyway, I love you guys. I hope you found this meditation to be inspiring and helpful in some way. And I look forward to seeing you back at church in person if you feel comfortable this upcoming Sunday. So remember to RSVP for that so that we can reserve you a seat. And I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye.